I always wanted to be an artist. My mom has this book I made in kindergarten that says when I grow up I want to be an artist. So uh, I don't think I had any other choice. I thought visual arts was especially painting and sculpture. It's this great marriage of very physical making so your body is really important and there's a lot of physicality to it and then also this intellectual process of research and coming up with ideas and learning the history and thinking through things so i think it just combines this physical movement with kind of an abstract thought process that seemed good i also thought art making is something i can do until i die you know, I could be 95 and in a wheelchair and I could still be making something with clay or I could still be drawing. And I am co-director of an artist-run space called Tiger Strikes Asteroid. And this is Greenville based. And it's made up of, I think we have 10 artists and curator members now in South Carolina. And we also have two members that are in Asheville, North Carolina. And Tiger Strikes Asteroid is part of a national network of artist-run spaces that are, it's New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, and Greenville. So we're really excited to, we've been doing some pop-up shows at various spaces in the South. And we are gonna be opening up a space in Greenville, South Carolina, that will be committed to showing contemporary art and showing a lot of contemporary art that's happening in the South. I think my intention as an artist is to connect with other people somehow. One of my favorite writers is Virginia Woolf. One thing that I think is a thread through her work is this kind of disconnect between our interior lives and our thoughts and then we express our thoughts with language and then that language is interpreted by the receiver of it so who the person we're talking to so there's you know our our consciousness is like the first step and then our thoughts and then our speaking and then the reception of those words so there's like all these steps along the way where things can get uh, misinterpreted or mistranslated and that's always re resonated with me in in her work and that kind of ultimate alienation we might feel from others because of this sort of path for so so much possibility of misinterpretation and so i think with a visual language it's like a chance to communicate or express something that maybe has less chance to get perverted with language.